What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is actually day one of Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor DLC and I, you guys already know I'm going to be giving you coverage on all these new Pokemon that are getting added. We just got Amoongus, we just got Kangaskhan, we just got Lycanroc. They're all really, really cool Pokemon that can find a place within the format. However, one of the most important Pokemon we're getting today is undoubtedly going to be Gigantamax and Talion. So that's the first moveset guide I'm going to be giving you guys today. I was really disappointed. I was playing through the DLC, found out this thing does not get Flip Turn, which is really annoying. Flip Turn is essentially Water Type U Turn, and that could have been a really cool thing to tack onto the set. However, it does not. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys a Gigantamax and Talion set today. Before we get into that, though, Make sure you guys check out my new merch to commemorate the end of VGC 2020 as we know it. We got some new Pokemon today, so VGC 2020 is shifting. I have this Three Rock Moon t-shirt. It's a little parody of the Three Wolf Moon t-shirt. It's uh, designed by my buddy Atrix MJ on Twitter. He'll be linked in the description down below. But yeah, I think it's a really fire design. Uh, there are a couple of versions of it. You can get a tank top, sticker, hoodie, whatever. Uh, if you guys want a high quality large print it's going to be 35 dollars on my merch store but if you guys want to go with a little bit more affordable version you can get it for 19 bucks in my merch store and it's still a relatively large print but yeah that'll be linked in the description and maybe if you just scroll down the video it'll be listed within my merch by now but let's go ahead and get into the movesets and if you guys are hyped for jig animex italian be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more pokemon content i do vgc content i think i might have the most fire vgc content on the website i have to be honest but let's go ahead and get into it so, uh, Gigantamax and Talion, if you don't know what its move does, uh, it's actually able to bypass the abilities of all Pokemon. So that means that Pokemon like Water Absorb Lapras or Storm Drain Gastrodon will actually be hit by this move. Or in the case of Storm Drain Gastrodon, it won't be redirected by that ability. So if you're trying to aim for a very powerful Pokemon like uh, Rhyperior or... Uh, I almost said Reptar, Tyranitar uh, in the format, then they try to switch in a... Gastrodon, they'll actually fail to redirect that move. So you're going to be hitting it with a powerful, powerful, uh, at least base 130 water type move, most likely knocking it out. And it's super, super powerful in that sense. I think it's going to be the best out of the three new Gigantamaxes we're getting. Well, we are getting Gigantamax Urshifu and like that might be a whole different thing. But out of the three starters, I think this is the best as the most viability considering uh, the only thing that Rillabooms ignores is going to be Sap Sipper Pokemon. Uh, the only thing that Cinderace's ignores is going to be like Flashfire Pokemon. That and this thing can one-shot Mimikyu. Like you're able to hit Mimikyu through Disguise with this thing. So you can ignore that. You can also ignore uh, Sturdy or uh, Shed Ninja's ability, Wonder Guard. Uh, but yeah, the moveset I'm going to be offering you guys today, the moveset I recommend actually, is going to be Max Speed, Max Special Attack, 4 Special Defense with a Life Orb and a Timid Nature. This thing is one of the fastest Pokemon in the format, so if you give it a Timid Nature, it's going to be outspeeding most things short of Dragapult. Uh, Snipeshot is great because you're actually going to be uh, able to ignore redirection and have a high critical hit ratio without Dynamaxing or anything. So in the case you don't want to Dynamax this Pokemon, Snipeshot's a nice, reliable 80 base power water type move. You could replace it for Hydro Pump if you'd like or Scald. It's all preferential, but I personally think if you have the option to run Snipeshot, go for it. Air Slash is great because uh, once you Dynamax, that'll turn into Max Airstream. Max Airstream is going to be boosting the speed of you and your ally Pokemon by one stage each time you use it. And it's great for hitting Grass-type Pokemon like Rillaboom, which has been running around in the format. You're going to be able to hit it with a nice, powerful, super effective Flying-type move. Dark Pulse is amazing coverage for this Pokemon because you're going to be able to hit uh, threats like Dragapult for super effective damage and Dusclops for super effective damage. If you manage to get a flinch in that Dusclops, you're going to be able to possibly prevent Trick Room for one turn, then following it up with the uh, Max Darkness should definitely knock it out at that point with that Life Orb. Your final move is pretty preferential. You can run either Protect or Hydro Cannon. I'm more of a Hydro Cannon kind of guy because 150 base power on this thing is... It's... It's disgusting. When you Dynamax, it keeps that 150 base power and you can click it three turns in a row. It's amazing, man. I love that move. Uh, it's really, really satisfying getting to see uh, moves like Hydro Cannon get used in the format. Uh, mostly because you didn't really see them before. Those, you know, turn those moves that require you a turn to recharge aren't all that popular in other formats, but when you can turn it into a Dynamax move, uh, you have seen them being used. So like Rock Wrecker, Rhyperior was something that people saw early in VGC 2020. But yeah, uh, the Life Orb is just for extra damage. Uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, that's the basic Italian set. I think it's going to be really, really solid for dealing with things like Rhyperior on teams with Redirection. Uh, but the next set is going to be what I'll consider a more fun set. This is going to be the Sniper 
uh, sniper scope lens set. And by the way, the reason I had sniper on that previous set is because torrent isn't really all that great on Inteleon. Uh, it's really frail, so getting to one third or less HP won't happen all that often. Just go ahead and run sniper, in my opinion. But yeah. This set takes full advantage of that ability. So Sniper, if you don't know, multiplies the base damage of your move by 2.25 times instead of 1.5 times when you land a critical hit, which makes it devastatingly powerful. So uh, if you're running Scope Lens and you manage to get Focus Energy off, that'll actually get you to plus three critical hit ratio stages, which will make it so you 100% guaranteed get a critical hit every time you click a move, which is devastating with that Sniper ability, absolutely devastating. Uh, for that reason, we're actually going to be running, pretty much never running Hydro Cannon on the set. I think Dark Pulse is better, uh, because that extra damage Hydro Cannon gives you is, like, it's just completely overshadowed by uh, the critical hit damage, so there's no point in that. Just make sure you run coverage. So the moveset I'm running is Snipe Shot, Air Slash, Focus Energy, and either Protect or Dark Pulse. So, once again, Air Slash is because you're able to hit those Grass-type Pokemon for super effective damage while boosting your speed. And Critical Hit Max Airstream is really, really strong. If you're managing to get Max Airstream off, not only are you likely knocking something out, but you're going to be boosting your speed. It's really great coverage. I think Air Slash is a must on Inteleon sets. Snipe Shot uh, is really nice because with that Scope Lens, Snipe Shot now has a 50% chance to crit. And once again, if you want to go ahead and get your Focus Energy off, Snipe Shot will always crit. Uh, your Hydro, whatever his max move is called, will always crit. Uh, and Dark Pulse with a crit is coming really, really close to one-shotting Dust Cops. It's not quite there, but if you double into that slot, it's going to knock it out with Max Darkness. So yeah, I think Inteleon is probably the best out of the three starters. We're getting some other really, really insane Pokemon, though. Uh, I think Inteleon with Air Slash is going to be nice for uh, KOing things like Amoongus if you manage to get that critical hit ratio up. Amoongus is going to be disgusting in this format. I'm really happy we have some reliable sleep because I'm getting real sick of, of missing things like Sleep Powder. But let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like, I know some of you guys are new. I, I make some great competitive Pokemon content, not gonna lie. You can ask the rest of the subscribers. Be sure to click that bell, leave a like in the video, comment what you think about Gigantamax and Talion, and comment which Pokemon you want me to do coverage on next. I know we have a lot of new Pokemon coming, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice one. Bye.